Welcome to the Aswell Video Store. Today we're going to review Waterworld from 1995 for its 25th anniversary. The story takes place in the future where the earth is mainly covered er, by water er, because uh, because the poor ice caps melting. And our main character is a drifter named Mariner er, who, who gets caught up with a few things and ends up having to take a young woman and then a girl or er, which the girl has a tattoo who, on her back which contains Hangs a map out to dry land because, of course, the earth is mainly covered in water. Her, her. But while the, uh, the gang called the Smokers is trying to get the girl as well, some mariner has to like take them before they get them. So that's the basic plot of the film. The movie is really good. I did like the story and concept of the film. It is very interesting. The acting is also well done. I do like Dennis Hopper's performance. And, and Karen Connors, um, it's as, well, with the, what little dialogue it is, it's somewhat part, somewhat part in my opinion, in case. The stonework and special effects are really well done as well. It does have some similarities to the Mad Max films, mainly Mad Max 2, The Road Warrior. Er, but the thing is that with Waterworld, it doesn't give that much of an introduction to our main character, compared to The Road Warrior where it actually has a previous film before it to actually give an introduction. Well, we already know how Max is and that's why he is in The Road Warrior. That's why I'm basically trying to get. With Waterworld, we don't get that much of an introduction to Mariner. All we know is a few details here and there, but also like the cinematography and a few of the shots of the, f of the film. So I'll give it 3.9 out of 5 stars. I only own the film on DVD, as you see here. Here, it's the widescreen edition. I think this is the first DVD release. This is the theatrical cut. Ah, uh, as this little snapper things. Things, as you see here. It only comes with a movie and what else is? Production notes, cast and filmmakers' bios, film highlights, and theatrical trailer. Is that so? In case, but uh, some of the early two Mad Mad Max were intentional, oh, because the writer of the film actually he was supposed to make a Mad Max knockoff for Roger Corman's New World Pictures, but this time taking place in water, of course. Or, but I believe in the first, like the first version of the script, uh, they rejected it because uh, it was probably was too expensive for a low budget at that time. Um, but later on when they rewrote the script and finally made it, they actually put several elements from Mad Max 2 The Road Warrior. Overall, it's a pretty good film. I suggest you get the Arrow video release which has the extended uh, TV version. Because from what I heard, many people consider that the extended version and is much more better than the theatrical version itself. So that's all. All the review. Have a nice day. Later on, come back to our video store.